If you've ever wondered why America still measures temperature differently, you're not alone. Almost every other country uses Celsius, but the U.S. stuck with Fahrenheit, along with the Bahamas, Belize, the Cayman Islands, Palau, the Marshall Islands, and Micronesia. The Dream Team. Blame it on Daniel Gabriel Fahrenheit, German scientist who in the early 1700s created a temperature scale based on three fixed points. Number one, zero degrees Fahrenheit, freezing point of a salty brine solution. Number two, 32 degrees Fahrenheit, freezing point of water. Number three, 96 degrees Fahrenheit, the supposed average body temperature. The scale was adjusted to 98.6 degrees for body temp and 212 degrees Fahrenheit for water's boiling point, but by then the Fahrenheit system was already catching on. Why didn't the US switched to Celsius like the rest of the world. By the time Celsius gained popularity in the 1800s, America was already deeply into Fahrenheit. Switching would have been a massive pain. Probably wouldn't have been a big of a deal compared to how big of a pain it will be now. But whatever, yo. Know? No foresight. Come on, guys. But the U.S. tried metric conversion in the 1970s, but Americans largely ignored it. And some say everyday Fahrenheit temperatures feel intuitive, with more granularity between human comfortable temps. While Celsius uses larger degree units, Fahrenheit allows for more specific numbers within common weather ranges. Of course, science and most of the world runs on Celsius, and the U.S. actually does use Celsius in medicine, science, and global trade, but for daily life, Fahrenheit is staying. 